Okay, so starting with the basement, I guess. Not sure if it uh, has anything to do with the place, but when I got to the door, my ribs started to hurt. Well, I was talking to her before. She said things really didn't start feeling bad until they started doing some work down here. Mm, yes, that's very common. Mm. Renovations can stir up something. Yeah. Feeling too much of anything notable. Um, let's see. Looks like some of the work was done over here. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess that the rib thing is part of it because it's getting worse. Over here. Anxiety right there. Chills. My, um, the muscles in my face are tightening up, and my head feels like it's being squeezed a bit. Like, not like squeezed, but like a pressure in your head, like when you're getting a headache or something. Yeah, I got the chills and the hair standing up. Yeah, I feel a lot colder in this room than I did. Yep, yeah, it is. It feels colder in this area. I feel on this side. Yeah, like. And like here, it gets worse as I. Right in there. Mm hmm. I'm gonna take a step over there. Slightly odd. As I stand here, my pain level is going down mm -hmm. instead of up. But right there, it was going up. Like was yeah. there? Like I was getting more chills as I was reaching over there, and cold sensation on this side. I think it might have moved when I came here. Maybe. Because like all the feelings I had just a minute ago are going down. Chills right here. So it may have moved. Well, that gives me some thoughts, but I don't want to say them right now just in case I'm wrong. She thinks that something may have attached itself to her son, and it was attached to his his biological father. His father doesn't. They they broke up. They don't live together, but yeah. they see each other a lot. He's very much so in the, in the son's life. Yeah, I'm, I have a couple of thoughts on what's going on, but I want to check the rest of the place first yeah. before before I make any conclusions. No, for sure. So, where to next? Up, I guess? Mm hmm Well, she was mentioning before, there's a mirror here. Every once in a while she'll catch a shadow. Ooh, that's an interesting feeling. I'm feeling nervous, but it's not me. Okay. Yeah, I, th I thought I felt something walking through there, but it could be a window, but if you feel it as well. Yeah, as I walked in, I started to feel it. So. Yeah. Like, something unnerving, or mm -hmm. I guess... Nervousness. Yeah. Maybe 
it knows about us and what we're here for. Something is unsure. I'm really feeling it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something is anxious, nervous. Mm -hmm. Right here. I don't know if you can feel it. I've been feeling it for since I, really since I walked in the kitchen, but. Yeah, it's more concentrated right here. Yeah. Check upstairs. I'll grab the gate. I got something in my neck. Good. I shiver, but not a cold shiver. As I walk through the doorway. And the pain in my ribs back. Okay. Slight chill coming through the door. Mm hmm. The window's open, but yeah. I don't think that would cause it. Yeah, but I feel that more. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel the draft over here, but chill. So, yeah, you said the mirror was up. Yeah. If the mirror was here, yeah. you'd see the shadow in this area? Yeah, on the far side of the mirror was. And it was actually my friend that seen it first, and then I seen it again after. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I've come up with a couple of things, but I'm not going to say them right now. Just in case I'm wrong, I don't want to upset what is here. Mm -hmm. no way that you can move. So then you ask the spirits, okay? If there are any spirits in here, show me a yes answer. Show me no. So it's the same thing as your body, but you're not taking the physical uh, work on it, and it can't hurt you then, okay? There are human spirits here. Are there good spirits here? Neutral? Are there elementals here? I'm not going to ask you that one. Uh... <laughs> Were you summoned by a Ouija board? Somewhere, somewhere here by anger through actions of other people. <laughs> don't, don't answer before I ask. I'll slap you upside the head. There you go. <laughs> so is that the same thing as a pendulum then? Uh, or different? Similar, but different, a different thing together. You have a question? Nope. These would be considered divining rods. Okay. You do realize that uh, you're going to have to deal with me, right? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> and not just you. Uh, well, yeah. here. Our team is coming for you, all right? You're not to affect this family anymore. I'm going to choke slide me straight to hell. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> hmm. So there you go, yeah, you do have uh, things here. Okay. And uh, we are going to get rid of them for you. Thank you. Mm. Ooh.
when you started using that layer, my, my chest was really heavy. <laughs> so when, when did they move, you felt something heavy? Uh, before, wait, when, before you took them out, yeah. I, started, I started feeling like uh, pain. Well, that's because they don't want us here. And they don't want us to get rid of them. Because mm -hmm. they want to be able to control you. Right? And basically what they're trying to do, they're trying to convince you that you're crazy, that these things that you feel and, and your gifts that you have are, are not real. And it, because they don't, they don't want people to have gifts and they'd rather you feel crazy. And they'll try to make you feel that way. You're yeah. not crazy. No, and they don't want people to know about them. Uh, people who can sense them and know that they're there, they don't want their secret out. It, it, if they want them to be known, they go out of their, they take the extra effort to make sure that they're known and seen. Otherwise, they just try to make you feel, you know, crazy and that you're, but this isn't true, and so you won't talk about it. Right, and the problem that you've been having is you haven't talked to anybody, right? Um... Well, a while ago, I was looking for like a shaman and stuff like that. You after, brought one. After, mm -hmm. I, oh yeah, awesome. <laughs> after I wake up the Ouija board and stuff like that, I was looking for one for years and stuff. Yeah, and both of us are pastors. Really We're both pastors. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay, I'm also a druid and I'm a shaman. I don't know what that other word is. A druid is basically a Scottish shaman. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, a priest of nature. Oh, okay. So it's the same thing. That the shaman is a priest, priest of nature and and uh, energy. A druid is a priest of nature, uh, priest of nature and the elementals. So basically, that's what it is. Yeah, shamans deal more with the spirit world, where druids deal more with the physical world. Okay. So you know, like. A lot of times the elementals will be upset because they're not respected, so the elemental spirits, that falls into the druid side. I don't understand what an elemental is. Earth, water, fire, air. Okay. They're spirits. Okay. But they're not really spirits, they're just energy, ancient energies. Okay. And sometimes when the energy gets mixed up, they want to rebel, right? And they're ancients. But I don't think there's elements here. No. So I think we're good there. Okay. You know? I definitely don't feel any elementals. No, no elementals here. Is that a bad thing? That's a good thing. Okay. That's a good thing. Elementals are normally neutral. Okay. Yeah. Elementals are very neutral. They never really get involved with human beings. They're not really, they don't really care for human beings one way or the other, right? So to, to elementals, humans are usually just, you know, while they're there. But when, when a human does something nice for them, they reward the human, you know, with some good luck or whatever. If the, if the human does something bad towards them, well, then you're in for a rough day. So if you have things around you that aren't good, then that's why you would have, like, lots of bad luck and lots of bad things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay.